To news out of Egypt now, where thousands of people are protesting after Friday prayers, which have been August, the protests have been organised by supporters of the ousted President Mohamed Morsi. Charles Stratford reports. Thousands of Egyptians fill the streets of the Egyptian city, Beni Suef. There have been protests like these in various locations across the country. A show of opposition in anticipation of Egypt's military chief saying he will run for president. There's wide-held belief that Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, the man who led the military coup and overthrew the previous government, now wants to be Egypt's leader. Seen here on a visit to the United Arab Emirates this week, Sisi recently said he couldn't ignore demands that he run for president. Nobody has any doubt that uh, Sisi will be the president. Uh, it is not because the, necessarily the election will, uh, will be fraudulent, but uh, uh, I think... Uh, most of the Egyptians think that Egypt needs a strong man and uh, they will vote uh, for Sisi. But what uh, Sisi will be able to do, we don't know yet. And Sisi has no uh, any political uh, party, so we don't know exactly with whom uh, General Sisi will be working. In January, the army gave the green light to Sisi to resign from his military post. Earlier this week, comments by the former Prime Minister under the Mubarak government were leaked by a pro-Brotherhood group. Ahmed Shafiq is heard criticising Sisi's expected presidential bid. In an audio message, he said the way the army backed Sisi's candidacy showed a strange lack of experience. He goes on to say the presidential vote would be farcical and rigged in Sisi's favour. Shafiq now says his comments were taken out of context. Numerous members of the Brotherhood, including the former President Mohamed Morsi, have been arrested and put on trial since the military coup. No date has been set for the presidential elections, but the interim Prime Minister says Egypt can expect a new president by June. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera. Zakaria Abdul Hadi, an assistant professor of Islamic thought and culture at Qatar University. We had to interrupt you, Professor, earlier on because of Sergei Lavrov. I'm afraid we're waiting for John Kerry. The same thing may happen, no. so apologies in advance if it does. But I want to ask you about these, these people on the streets today. Um, Field Marshal Sisi hasn't said he's going to run for president. It's just assumed that he will. Why, why the protests now? Because all the hands are showing that he is not only going to stand, but he'll win. Uh, it is the first time ever that the Egyptian TV show a, a minister of defense uh, in a Friday sermon and the ex-mufti uh, of Egypt giving us uh, the Friday sermon and all the focus is on him, uh, e even before he put his uh, ca candidacy. So he's already been a president and he's already been shown in TV that he's a that president and so on. So this, of course, made people more angry because people feel that they don't have a, a, any need. So your sense is that when he went um, to the United Arab Emirates, when he did a little bit of a tour of, of the Gulf region just a few days ago, he was doing so not necessarily as a Minister of Defense and Head of the Armed Forces, but as President in waiting? Actually, he's, he's actually the President. He's the one who's running the, the show. Uh, Adli Mansour, the so-called uh, the the so-called president of Egypt because he is not an official president because he was not done through a democratic process so a lot of people are against that anyway but he's not running anything the CC is running the whole show the CC is telling who to do what he's the one who go meet delegates when people come from foreign country he's the one who meets them he's the one who make everything and all the rest are just part of the fitting decor to to try to convince the West that there is a a, 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 a civilian government there. But in reality, there is no civilian government at all. In reality, we, we have seen the military back again in the picture. When, so, when it comes to the election, do you mm. think we will see election monitors who are free and fair and independent and allowed to do their job? Uh, yes, you might, you might see some of them. But okay, therefore, if, if we get a result in favour of Morsi, it will be... Morsi? I, I do beg your pardon in oh. favour of <laughs> Cici. Okay. Um, I was saying that two years ago. Okay. Um, if we get a result in favour of Cici, you would say that that would be, um, if not legitimate in, in your eyes, it, it would be indicative of the, the votes cast? Of course, because this is not, it's, uh, it's unacceptable. In, in what condition you make an election anyway? We already have a president. Nobody removed that president. No, no, my, my question was then leading on to, do you think yeah. then that other countries outside those that have had dealings with Cici would be happier to see him in than any other opponent? Yeah, I think some of the countries would be, would like to see some kind of settlement. If that's the settlement that they want to see, that somebody said that he's been voted in 
they maybe that that's how it goes. But I, I don't think in reality that will not change. Those people on the street who are walking and dying and giving their blood, that will not change them a bit, because they really they feel that they are being stolen their freedom. Uh, this this case have gone on for a year now, over, or over a year. People have voted in the presidential election, in the parliament, in in a number of in, in a number of election, and suddenly in the constitution, and suddenly all this was checked in the bin. Um, and uh, suddenly they're telling them, okay, start her again. And now we'll have a one candidate who's standing, and everybody is withdrawing suddenly. Uh, and by the way, this is the amazing thing. He is a candidate of the military party. He's not a we candidate yet, I have to point out. And there we have to leave it. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed. Thank you. Good Welcome.